Guys, what is up? This is RC Pilot Will here with another um, mixing video on the Freewing Twin 64 F14 Tomcat. Guys, I went out today and I had two amazing flights with this jet. And I just kind of want to um, touch back on one of the mixes that I talked to you guys about and um, I'm going to put that up here on the transmitter I'm going to put the screen in the transmitter up here and I'm going to show you guys this mix um, so I know I did a variable wing sweep mix which um, which showed you guys how I um, used a combination of switches that allowed you to use the slider on the transmitter to um, control the wing sweep between three different degrees within um, other than full swept and full extended. Well, I did that and of course you guys saw I tried it and then I thought I haven't ended up having that one wing sweep. I got one wing swept. Man, what in the world? And um, that, you know, the, the, the mix wasn't the problem. The problem was that I had a problem with my jet. And of course, the one wing sweep happened. Um, afterwards, I did test that mix out. Um, there's a video that I put out on Facebook. Um, the quality wasn't really all that great, so I didn't put it on YouTube. Um, so, but there's a video I did put out where I did fly it using Variable Sweep. Um, and so, long story short, because I'm not going to be here for you guys along, um, I took my jet with me to work today and um, decided to uh, put some servos in there because so, I had that wing sweep issue going on with one of the servos started uh, skipping a tooth, you know, it was stripped gear, whatever the case may be. So I didn't order my AGF servos like I wanted to yet. So I went ahead and just got, um, took some free wing servos and I put in there and I put two free wing servos in there that are alike um, from uh, one of my other free wing jets that used a pretty strong servo for a control surface. But I put that in there, I tested it, I uh, had the wings out, I blew uh, a lot of air at it because where I work at we have compressed air and um, and that and it's turned up pretty high so I used a good size nozzle and just blew air at the wings to see if it would buckle or if the servo would give out um, everything stood up to it um, it stood up to the whole, the whole ordeal and I didn't just blow it for a little bit I, I sat there and blow air over the wing used the control surfaces you should have seen it the plane was trying to like tip over but um I actually, it probably thought it was flying, but, um, so all of that tested out good. And so I decided to go to the field this afternoon. And by the way, it is kind of late here right now. It's, it's, I don't know, somewhere about, it's like 11 o'clock PM Eastern time right now. Um, so I took it to the field and took it out there for a flight and tried out a new mix that I did. So I got rid of Variable Sweep. And the reason why I got rid of Variable Sweep is because Variable Sweep had a lot of, a lot involved, a lot that I had to do myself to make it happen. So to do Variable Sweep, first I had to flip this switch to the mid position, um, which is uh, position one. And then, of course, the gear has to be up. Um, it won't allow it to happen with the gear up, with the gear down. 
So the gear has to be up. So that means the plane is already flying. Um, and then you switch to position one. Which I have it set to my channel G. My G channel. And then I had to mess. Ooh, excuse me. Mess with this knob here. The slider. To adjust where I want it to be for the wing sweep. Just too much was going on there. Too much, too much to deal with. So, what I did do is I came up with auto. Um, I'm sorry, I came up with auto wing sweep, which in my transmitter it's labeled as uh, something different. So we're gonna jump into the transmitter. Here's the screen gonna come up now and. We're going to go to model adjust. And I'm going to show you guys this. And then we're going to go to mixing. And then we're going to go to move that out of the way. We're going to go to sport flight. Let me see what I got labeled there. I call it sport flight. That's just what I call the mix. We call it what you want to call it. We call it auto wing sweep you can call it um, whatever you like but here's what here's how it works same combination of switches needed to activate this uh, mode but you can see I'm using a curve mixing and you see I got this sort of almost kind of looks like a Mesa <laughs> I might be saying that wrong Mesa Mesa uh, it's been a while since you know, high school but um, basically what happens here if you watch the jet you'll see when I'm in this position for this to work which that's wings extended, wings extended. you can, guys can actually hear my call outs okay I can't get it to happen right now so that's wings just extended. that's just the wings out so I gotta lock my gear gear locked and then I gotta retract it. You retracted. So now the the transmitter sees that the gears are retracted, but the transmitter is also locking the amount of travel that the um, that that switch can do, so that it's not going past um, the certain point, which I think that's um, plus or minus negative um, plus or minus. 56 51 to 56 um, percent of travel so it doesn't see that so the retracts don't see that signal so they don't they don't retract um, I talk a lot about gear lock in my f15 video my f15 setup video you can um, there's a uh, little time stamp spots that you can jump right to it if you want to know about that um, but now that I got it in gear lock, I can flip my G channel to position one. Auto sweep mode. And you saw how my wings just kind of jumped back a little bit. I'm gonna bring it back out. Wings extended. Okay. Let me uh, I'm gonna lift the camera up a little bit so you guys can see. So that's wings out. Auto sweep mode. You saw how my wings just jumped back a little bit. Okay. This is full sweat. That's just full sweat, of course. So, auto sweep mode. Now I'm in auto sweep mode, and with the throttle. Oh, let's turn that off. Power off. With the throttle, I could travel up to. You can see here I'm in the positive now. Thirty percent positive. Twenty seconds. Um, I'm at 70 should be 70 percent positive so 70 percent positive seconds 22 volts is the peak that I could go on that now watch what happens after that notice the wings start folding in as I push the throttle further up and when I come back down it, it's it's like really it's a really short gap you know, 
You're, nobody's gonna play around in that small gap right there. They either gonna, you get to that point, you're ready to deuce it at that point. One so, minute, twenty-two so, volts. So what happens is, is it allows it to sweep the wings in and out. So if I'm, let's say I'm cruising around about sixty percent throttle, and I decide I'm gonna, oh, I decide I'm gonna mash this thing. I'm gonna just go ahead and jet it. You know. I'm already cruising at 60% throttle. I'm already probably moving pretty quick. So I go ahead and push it on, push the stick on up, push the throttle on up. I'm going to get a wing sweep and I'm going to be able to get the maximum speed I could get out of the plane without me having to fumble around for anything. Now I'll say I'm ready to slow down. I just throttle back and the wings come out on their own. And my wings are back out. Now they're not all the way out. So look at that. They're not all the way out. This, this is all the way out. Two wings extended. That's all the way out. It's not big difference. Auto sweep mode. But they're not all the way out. So the plane is already kind of like, all right, I'm ready to rock and roll here. But then you push the throttle up, it sweeps in. I did two successful flights flying in this mode and man I gotta say it was amazing I enjoyed it I enjoyed it um so I'm showing you guys this because yeah you know, I like sharing what information I have um maybe you know you guys could try this with your F-16 I'm sorry F-16 F-14 it's late and uh yeah, and get back to me and let me know, you know, what you think about it. Um, everything else is going to happen just like it should when the wings are swept. If you follow, you know, if you're going with the programming that I that I showed you guys on the setup that I did for, you know, things particularly to this F-14. Um, it's not like a full plane setup. It's just things particularly to this F-14, which is talking about the tail runs, the limited ailerons, you know, when the wings are swept, um, well, when the wings are in this swept position, in the auto position, I still have limited aileron travel, but most of my work is being done on the tail runs. So the ailerons don't, doesn't do much, and I'm sorry you guys couldn't see that, but the ailerons, don't do much in this position. As you can see right there, they don't travel much. But now, wings, wings all the way out. The ailerons are doing a lot of moving. But, and then, wing of course, on a full wing sweep, the ailerons don't do anything. I have them set to do nothing. So, um, yeah, guys, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, like I said, just if you guys like this mix or you think you like it, give it a shot, you know. Um, just just be cautious, you know, get it up high. Don't take off in this mode because if you take off in this mode, what's going to happen is you're going to be in mode. You're going to be in this position. Gear extended. Even though you're locked, you're locked out of it right now because you got your gear out. Once you up in the air, let's say you're full throttle taking off and you put your flaps up and you click that gear you're, you're going for a full wing sweep whether you got the airspeed for it or not so don't take off in this mode take off in your wings extended wings out whatever you call it take off in that that way when you pull your gear up you don't have to worry about Three minutes, mm, sorry, guys. You don't have to worry about not having the uh, the lift, you know, the wings to to generate the lift that you need. So, um, mm, sorry, guys. I had to drink something. Thirsty. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about it. Um, you know, let me know if you like it shoot me some comments you know if you got something to say about it now you know say something about it before trying it um other than that 
you guys don't forget to hit the like button on the way out and RC Pilot Will is out of here. Now, like I said, any questions, hit me up in the comments.